My first ever video was unboxing angelfish from the Angel Mania website. Now, a year and a half later, the angelfish are full grown. It's time to compare if my angelfish look like the ones I ordered. Hi everyone, it's Connor. So today is the final review on the Angel Mania angelfish that I ordered a little over a year and a half ago today. So let me just do a quick overview of kind of the story of ordering from Angel Mania. So it was June of 2020, I ordered four angelfish, two blue pinoy and two electric blue ghost, both of the veil variety. They all arrived healthy and Angel Mania even threw in an extra free angelfish. My first ever video on the channel, which is pretty cool to think about now, was the unboxing of the, those angelfish. And my initial thoughts on ordering from them and arriving, getting the fish was very positive. The fish arrived healthy, the shipping was quick, I got received good updates, so the shipping and everything was very good in my um, experience. Now, I did do a year update video as well, and this is when the fish were um, starting to get into adulthood, but not quite. And it was not nearly as positive as the first review. Um, it was kind of the fish weren't really looking like what the pictures were, but I was still kind of um, being optimistic that they would and they weren't full grown and maybe as they got right into adulthood, they'd really bloom. So this video is kind of gonna be a follow up to that. And do they look like what they look like on the picture because now they are full grown or almost full grown. So first, just to go over in more detail what I ordered and I'll show you here on the website exactly what I did order. The first one was the Philippine Electric Blue Ghost Veil. And on the website, it describes them as these wonderful blue ghosts are a fairly new offspring. They show more domestic qualities in comparison to our wild cross ghosts. They have larger bodies and wider veil fins. The veils on these are strong and sail-like. So when I ordered Blue Pinoy Veil Wide Fins, and I really like the color of these. They look really awesome on the website. So this is the main ones that I wanted. And so it says for these wonderful color and single dose veil fin, bred these into wide fin lines to create a spectacular erect sail-like dorsal. These will be standouts in your aquarium. These are a mix of ghost, smoky, and lace pinoys. So that's what I ordered. I ordered two of each. Um, unfortunately, um, not all the angelfish made it. I did have one of the ghosts and one of the Pinoy make it. Um, I don't blame Angel Mania though for them not making it. I mixed them in with large angels too early in my opinion and one of them actually ended up being pretty aggressive, the large angels. So I think the stress and they might have even just gotten directly injured. So I'm gonna put it up to that. But um, anyway, I still had one of each of the type I ordered that made it into adulthood and they're still with me today. You can see the blue ghost right behind me and the Pinoy is in another tank. Anyway, let's get into the big important part of the video. Let's compare my angelfish today to what was on the website. Now I'm gonna talk about the Philippine Electric Blue Ghost Veil first. So this is how they look today. And then this is compared to the website. And so the one thing you'll probably notice right away is the not veil fin. And that's very unfortunate in my opinion because I read the description, they were really, really selling up the veil. And I really like veil angels, maybe not the double veil, the ones with super long veil fins, but the, um, you know, the single veil as they call it, um, gene. I really like those. So that was one of the main reasons I got this type of fish was for the veil fin and it, it isn't veil now. Obviously um, only half of the angels I ordered made it. So I wonder if the other one would have. Um, I don't know when they were babies, they were so, so young, but they did look identical. So it's really hard to tell. Overall, besides it not being veil, it does look very similar to the picture and it does have a nice blue to it. Um, it looks very cool. I, if I think if I bought this fish in the store, and it wasn't wasn't veil or even if I bought it from the website and I wasn't trying to get veil, I'd be very happy with it. But the veil thing is really the, the big thing that was missed on this fish, which is unfortunate for how much they really um, have sold it being veil. And then next is the blue Pinoy wide fin. And so this is how they look today. And this is how they look on the website for the one I ordered. Now this one is definitely way more disappointing than the blue ghost. The first thing you'll notice, uh, again, it's not veil, which is really unfortunate. Um, yeah, I did um, lose half of the ones I ordered, but still I ordered all veil and I still have two and they both were in veil. So that's a, a big bummer. And the main reason I picked the strains I picked were because they were veil. Now, besides not being veil, the big thing that I'm really disappointed about is the coloration of them. If you look on the website, this picture, they have this nice like navy blue color pretty much through most of their body, at least on the very top and then it fades to being darker closer to a black. I thought that looked so cool. And I really want an angelfish like that. Now mine does not look like that. It pretty much looks like a black angelfish with 
blue around its gills and it has a very nice like blue sheen right around its gills but that's pretty much it and so very disappointing on that it, it just does not look like the picture online um now if i bought this angelfish in the store and i was like it's blue pinoy and they told me yeah it's going to be you know a darker like a, kind of like a black angelfish so it's going to have some nice like blue sheen to it um and it grew up to this i would have been like cool i still think it's a very cool looking angelfish uh, I do think it's very stunning, but it is not what I ordered. And if I knew it was going to look like this, I would have picked um, something else on the website. And I did do some research just looking up other angelfish online. I have seen ones that do look like the kind of angelfish on their website, or at least more like it. They have this complete like dark blue throughout their whole body. And that's just kind of more what I was expecting. And so I think the picture on this fish is either very misleading or they sent me the wrong type, either one. But so that's pretty much the comparison of how they look on the website to what I got. Uh, I'm very bummed about not being veils and the blue Pinoy just doesn't look like it. So I'm very bummed about that. Um, I'd say if you're going to order ones, don't get that one because uh, I think it, it was kind of disappointing to wear what it could have been. So now that I close out here, the big question, would I order from Angel Mania again? And the answer is probably not, but I am pretty torn on it because the angelfish I got were pretty cool now that they've grown up, despite them not being what I wanted directly. And they have so many cool different strains on their website. You know, there's some ones I definitely want to try in the future that I'm very tempted to. But the fact that I didn't get what I wanted, and a lot of other people have the same experience. Uh, I mean, I really lean towards, I, do, I wouldn't really want to order from them in the future, but I almost want to try it. So um, overall, I'd say probably not. And uh, I wouldn't really recommend them, but um, you know, there, there is some, some positive things. That's all I'll say. But anyway, that does wrap up the video. It was cool to do this video um, since my first video was just unboxing them. And it's cool. I actually recently hit a thousand subscribers. So thank you everyone who did subscribe. It's been following the channel. Uh, it's kind of cool that now I'm doing this follow-up video for my first video right around the same time. But if anyone has order from Angel Mania or known anyone else and especially had them grow up, um, I would love to hear from you just to get more experiences. But um, anyway, I'll close out here. I did post growth time lapses of both my chips of angelfish. The one the Pinoy was posted uh, about a month ago. And then this blue ghost is actually posting later this week. So I'll link them in the description. But anyway, I appreciate everyone watching and I'll catch everyone next time.